You are watching Cold Fusion TV. Welcome to another episode of Cold Fusion TV. Let's get straight into it. Imagine any object, anything. All right, got it? Now, imagine if you could physically hold the object that you just imagined within a few hours. It's a pretty cool idea that's become a reality over the past few years. It's of course the technology behind 3D printing. What if the object that you imagined could be outside of the realm of normal possibility? This is a room designed by pure mathematics, complete chaos and order in physical form. A room made out of fractal mathematics is pretty interesting, but what else does 3D printing have to offer? This is the world of 3D printing. In this video, we'll count down the top 5 crazy applications for 3D printing, and then we'll take a look at where the technology is heading in the future. What you're about to see may surprise you. Number 5 Let's start big. 3D printed houses. Wouldn't it be cool to have a completely 3D printed home with better material and thermal properties than traditional brick and mortar? That's the ultimate long-term goal of 3D printing in the field of architecture. Some architects from Amsterdam aim to do this and have begun construction on the world's first 3D printed house. I was thinking it was a gimmick as well five years ago. Since a year, I really think it's not a gimmick anymore. Of course, 3D printing is, is you can say, revolutionizing in many industries uh, how people make things. We'll learn in the coming years what 3D printing can do for architecture. Before continuing, it might be useful for me just to give a brief explanation of what 3D printing actually is. The basic principle is quite simple. In very basic terms, you can think of it as a normal 2D printer. But instead of only doing one pass to print the letters on the page, you do multiple passes over the letters to make them 3D. And instead of ink, it's the material of your choice. As the printer head moves along the material, it binds one layer to the other until a full object is made. Using this idea on a large scale, it is possible to build structures. The Bank of South Africa has already shown interest in the 3D printed house being built in Amsterdam. They want to use the same technology to create cheap, efficient 3D printed houses for the poor. It's even feasible to build entire streets at a time. At the moment with this pace of growth in, a, in the mega cities, the current construction techniques is not sufficient enough. And maybe that's why we also believe that 3D printing can actually uh, make a big difference in 5, 10, 20 years time. Number 4 Food Right now, there are machines that can print intricate chocolate shapes, multiple flavoured sugar candies, and of course, the pizza printed under the supervision of NASA to feed astronauts in space. But later this year, there's going to be a domestic kitchen appliance that can print your food, and it's called the Foodini. Let's hear a bit more from the ABC. What if you could just print it out? Our web producer, Alexander Bahu, is here now to tell us about a new invention that might make your mouth start to water right now. We want to hear this, Alex. Well, you could say the new generation of kitchen appliances is here. The Foodini is basically a 3D printer for well, food. A company called Natural Machines created the printer that they say encourages home cooking but doesn't replace it completely. Foodini helps people manage the difficult or time-consuming parts of cooking. The printer can apparently roll pasta dough, fill ravioli. All you have to do is prepare the fresh ingredients and load them into the capsules in the Foodini. The 3D printer then prints your selected recipe. Now the Foodini doesn't actually cook the food but it can get it ready so all you have to do is basically throw it in the oven. Now a spokesperson for Natural Machines told me in an email now the 3D food printer will be available by the middle of this year. So there you have it, a 3D printer in your kitchen. I think I'll wait for a couple more versions until I eat the food from that. Moving on. Number 3 3D printed clothing. If you're a regular guy like me, you probably hate shopping and trying on clothes. But what if you could just print clothes in a size that perfectly fits you? It's not completely in the mainstream just yet, but people are starting to look into the idea. The fashion industry has started looking into the technology of 3D printed clothing harder than anyone else. But really, 
their designs are almost as crazy as investing in Blackberry stock. What do you think? I do know that some of my female friends do love the idea of 3D printed shoes, but for me personally, I'm just going to have to give this one a bit of time. Number 2 3D Printed Cars Irby is an urban car with a 3D printed body. It's the most aerodynamic multi-passenger vehicle in the world today. Irby is claimed to be one of the world's cleanest cars with two electric motors and a small ethanol engine. The body is made from 50 individual parts. That's about as much as an intermediate IKEA set. It's not bad for a car. The body of the car is modelled after the bones in birds. Light but strong when needed. Only 3D printing technologies can create such complex structures. Taking this a little bit further, 3D printing can be applied to metals such as steel alloys and aluminium. The printed parts can be even stronger than traditional manufacturing methods. The EDAG Genesis car takes this idea to the extreme by building a 3D printed car frame modelled on a turtle shell for unprecedented impact and protection. So, in the future, tinkering in the garage could reach a whole new level if the price of 3D printers drops far enough. Let's keep going. Number one is where things start really getting crazy. Printing human body parts. But before we get to number one, let's take a quick break. Please take a second to subscribe if you haven't already and give the video a thumbs up if you like what you see so far. You're most probably not gonna see content like this anywhere else on YouTube. But There's an incredible yeah. freedom that comes with using a cellular yeah. phone. I got all my guys working on it right now. And once you've experienced it, there's no turning back. So don't waste a beautiful day waiting for that call. Put it in your pocket or purse and make the most of your time. You are watching Cold Fuse Chin. All right, so we're back. So far, we've seen some pretty industry-changing things done by 3D printing, but let's kick it up a notch. Number one. Printing human body parts. This isn't going to be morbid or anything, this is just a really interesting approach to donor organs. It may be controversial, but I'll leave that open for the comment section discussion. The technology behind the humble office printer could be saving lives in the future. The Herald Sun says Melbourne surgeons could be printing body parts for patients within a couple of years. It's hoped researchers will be able to manufacture skin, arteries, and even organs from a patient's own cells. Professor Gordon Wallace is from the University of Wollongong, which is working with St Vincent's on this. Good morning to you. I'm so glad you're here to explain it, because although I kind of did, it still seems way above the average person's head, Gordon. So is it basically using human cells, like the ink, in a paper printer? Yes, it is, and it's, it's, it's pretty simple, really. It really is using conventional printing technologies that have been modified, of course, to enable us to print very delicate uh, biological molecules or biological entities like uh, living cells. But when we first started with this, we actually did just go and buy uh, inkjet printers from Officeworks to get us going. Really? Yeah, that was uh, in our early experiments some years ago. The field of regenerative medicine is moving from the realm of science fiction to science fact. From fingers and ears to complex organs like livers or hearts, scientists at Wake Forest University are making headway into growing human body parts. Let's take a look. This is no ordinary printer. It's being configured to print living organs. Researchers have filled the ink cartridges with a cocktail of cells and nutrients. Today they've printed a rat heart. In the future, they hope to print human ones. They watch as the newly made heart begins to be. This novel process is called bioprinting. Instead of waiting for the skin itself to provide this material, which takes around like two weeks, we are providing it right away. So forming the seal and providing the bidding for the cells so they can grow fast and immediately. This ferret liver had all its own cells washed away and the remaining tissue has been coated with human liver cells. After spending some time in a bioreactor, it will emerge as a human liver. It's like they have their own eyes, or what we call receptors, that recognize the areas where they should attach or where they should be. And they do that on their own because we kind of mix them together and they sort themselves out. Well, you know what? We often, I don't think, in our society hail the correct heroes. So, Professor Gordon Wallace, to you and all of your team that are doing this, you are amazing. I'm absolutely blown away. All the best. We'll stay in touch and see how it goes. Uh, thank you Thanks very much. Thanks for explaining it this morning. So, as strange as it may seem, 
The ultimate goal is actually to save lives by eliminating the need for patients to wait for organ transplants. If you need a new heart or liver, you can just print it. This is your world too, so you might as well be informed about the changes that are happening within it. So we're almost at the end of the video, but just before I leave, let's touch on a couple of closing points. What other things can be built with 3D printers? Of course, a few of you clever people out there would be asking, can you print a 3D printer with a 3D printer? And the answer is yes. RepRap is an open source 3D printer that is capable of printing other 3D printers. If you want, you can build whole pieces of furniture, fully working metal guns, musical instruments, aircraft drones, and pretty much the sky is the limit. So where do I see 3D printing going? I think that as the technology improves, the use will expand to a wider variety of industries and soon complex objects may become cheaper to manufacture in general. Apart from this, one of the obvious directions is the user-friendly design of objects and a user-friendly way to purchase other things people have made. Online stores such as Shapeways have gotten the purchase end down packed with a store not unlike eBay for 3D printed objects that you can actually design and make yourself. It would be interesting if we could take the idea of easy model creation a little bit further. Recent developments have led to software that can create a 3D object from a regular 2D photograph. Think about that for a second. What if there was an app similar to this on your phone? It just might be possible to do something like this. Say you wanted to take a photo of something and immediately replicate that object. All you need to do is get your smartphone out with this app installed, take a photo of the object that you want, choose the axes that you want to extrude the object by, and once this model has been created, you can send it over the internet to your 3D printer at home or any other 3D printer in the world. So basically, take a photo of any object and print it within hours. That would be pretty cool. But of course, this is just me thinking of ridiculous ideas. But speaking of which, the industry is literally fresh and the door is wide open for new ideas. What interesting applications for 3D printing can you think of? Let me know in the comment section below. Hey guys, the Gogo here, the creator of that video and of course this channel. And I just want to thank you guys for watching the whole way through. You know, uh, it's actually pretty interesting when you think about it because uh, 3D printing as a, an emerging industry has only really been around for about five years or so. So it's actually really cool to already see people uh, thinking of building, you know, houses or entire streets uh, using the technology or even uh, food or clothing, <laughs> even though the clothing was um, not the most straightforward of choices, but it's still cool to see people thinking about this technology anyway. But yeah, uh, thanks for watching and uh, don't forget to give it a thumbs up or share it along to a friend who you think will be interested and uh, subscribe if you're new. I'll see you again soon for the next video. Have a good one guys. Cheers. Cold fusion. It's me thinking.